Middleware plays a crucial role in ASP.NET Core applications, acting as an interception layer for incoming requests and outgoing responses. Here's a detailed explanation of different middleware types and their uses, along with creating custom middleware. Types of built-in middleware ASP.NET Core provides a rich set of built-in middleware for various functionalities. Static files serve static content like CSS, JavaScript, and images efficiently. Routing matches incoming requests to appropriate endpoints, controllers, razor pages. Authorization enforces access control based on user roles and permissions. Authentication validates user identities and provides access tokens. Session manages user session data on the server side. Response caching caches responses to improve performance by reducing server load. Response compression compresses responses to reduce bandwidth usage and improve perceived performance. Exception handling catches unhandled exceptions and generates appropriate error responses. Diagnostics provides tools for monitoring application health and performance. Forwarded headers forwards proxy related headers into the current request object. HTTP method override allows overriding the HTTP method specified in a post request, useful for forms with hidden fields. HTTPS redirection redirects all HTTP requests to the HTTPS service. HSTS HTTP strict transport security enforces secure connections HTTPS for the application. MVC handles requests for MVC applications, directing them to controllers and views. Middleware usage in request processing pipeline. Middleware components form a pipeline that processes incoming requests and outgoing responses. Each middleware component has the opportunity to examine the request, access request headers, body, and other details. Modify the request, change headers, add data, or rewrite the request URL. Invoke the next middleware, pass the request to the next component in the pipeline. Short circuit the pipeline, terminate the request processing and generate a response useful for error handling or authentication. Modify the response, change response headers, body, or status code. Creating custom middleware. You can create custom middleware to extend the functionality of ASP.NET Core beyond built-in options. Here's a basic structure. 1. Implement the iMiddleware interface. This interface defines a single invoke method. 2. Invoke method. Takes two arguments. Context. An HTTP context object representing the current request context. Next, a delegate representing the next middleware in the pipeline. Access request details using context a request. Perform custom logic, e.g., logging, adding headers. Call await next, context, to continue processing in the pipeline. Optionally, return a task object with a custom response to short circuit the pipeline. Example, logging middleware. Public class logging middleware. Private read only request delegate underscore next. Public logging middleware request delegate next. Underscore next equals next. Public async task invoke HTTP context context. Console.writeline dollar incoming request context request method context request path. Await underscore next context console.writeline dollar response status code context response dot status code registering custom middleware in the startup.cs file use the app use middleware your middleware class method to register your custom middleware at the desired position in the pipeline the order of registration determines the execution order remember Built-in middleware provides a rich set of functionalities for common tasks. Custom middleware allows you to extend the application's behavior for specific needs.
understand the request processing pipeline and how middleware components interact. Design your custom middleware to be flexible and integrate seamlessly with the existing pipeline. By leveraging different middleware types and creating custom ones, you can achieve a high degree of control and flexibility in your ASP.NET Core applications.